second heat of the 1966 Hamiltonian by head number. Rocket Rodney and Eddie Wheeler, Careless Vlado and Joe Marsh Jr., Broker's Choice with John Patterson, Kerry Way and Frank Irvin, Shatterway and Olaf Waddell, Polaris with George Sholey, Carlisle with Bill Houghton, All-American and Charles Norris Jr., Our Rainbow and Stan Dancer, Governor Armbro with Joe O'Brien, Starlight Way and Charles Clark, and Armbro Gazelle with Bob Sullivan. All 12 back in behind the gate for the second heat of the Hamiltonian. The great Philly Kerry Way, winner of the first, down along the rail and wearing knee boots for the first time in her career. Can she come back? Let's find out. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Kerry Way is first away, and our rainbow blazes out from the outside and takes the lead. It's our rainbow to the front. Kerry Way is second. Polaris third down along the rail. Carlisle is fourth. Shatterway fifth on the outside. As they swing around that first turn, the leader is our rainbow by a length. But Kerry Way is not waiting. She's out of second and driving up for Frank Irvin after the lead. Kerry Way back to the front now by three quarters of a length. Our rainbow second, and there goes Carlisle up at the quarter mile mark. It's Kerry Way. Carlisle is second on the outside, and our rainbow third. Polaris is fourth as they go to the back stretch, and Rocket Rodney is fifth. Shatterway is sixth on the outside. They're at the quarter in 29 and two-fifths seconds, and Carlisle has a two-length lead going down the long back stretch with Kerry Way second and Al Rainbow third. Shatterway is moving up on the outside in fourth. Polaris is fifth along the rail. As they go into the half-mile mark, it's Carlisle with the lead by a length and a half. Kerry Way is second at the half, Al Rainbow third, and Polaris is fourth. The half in a minute. Shatterway fifth on the outside, gaining ground. Rocket Rodney sixth, Governor Armbro seventh. Armbro Gazelle is eighth, Broker's Choice ninth, Careless Vlado tenth, third, Armbro Gazelle fourth, and Broker's Choice fifth. And the mile in 159 and three-fifths. Kerry Way becomes the first filly to win the Hamiltonian since Emily's pride turned the trick in 1958. And her 1-2 victory punch today set a new two-heat world record for three-year-old filly trotters. Bred by John R. Gaines and owned by Gainesway Farm of Lexington, Kentucky, Kerry Way is a daughter of Star's Pride and Beloved. Her two heats today erased the record set by Elaine Rodney in the 1960 Kentucky Futurity. Actually, Kerry Way's great Hamiltonian victory this afternoon climaxes a three-generation, 75-year dream for the Gaines family of New York and Kentucky. Gainesway Farm is owned by the father-son combination of Clarence and John Gaines. And even Frank Irvin, who now has over 100 two-minute miles to his credit, will describe this one as the highlight of my harness racing career. Illinois Governor Otto Kerner now takes over in Victory Lane. Her triumph today not only adds $60,000 to Kerry Way's soaring bankroll, but will bring her three-year-old Trotter of the Year honors over Polaris and Carlisle. Frank Irvin drove Diller Hanover to a Hamiltonian win in 1959, but that was a catch-driving assignment. Kerry Way is the first Hamiltonian winner Frank has ever trained. Yes, for Frank Irvin, Kerry Way was a lady-in-waiting, and well worth waiting for.